my lovelies welcome back to my channel my self tending series i hope you're all well and can i just say before we start the review i've reached a thousand subscribers yay finally it's so amazing guys i've daily been doing this three years in january and it's so amazing it, like i say before in the scheme of youtube it might not seem a lot but to me if you think about it that's a thousand people that has a people if you that was in real life we finally got there guys and thank you so so much so the review I'm doing today is on a tan called Beauty Edit. I found these on Instagram. I will put their at, whatever that is, and they're linked to their website down below in my description box. I won this in a competition. Yay! I can't believe it. I never win competitions. Um, but yeah, I got to choose the shade, which is ultra dark. They do have a dark and I think they have a medium, maybe a light. I'm not quite sure. Look on their website anyway. To buy this separately, this I think this is £24.99, it's 150ml bottle, which, being honest, is on the steep side, it's more on the luxury side. Uh, the combination of the mitt and this is £31.99, I think. It's, I think that's the sale price, though. Yeah, it's more on the steep side, but we'll see how it performs, guys. You know what, I'm always honest, if it's worth it or if it's not, we shall see. So let's read what it says at the back. Street free finish, anti-aging, ultra hydrating, 95% natural ingredients, no alcohol, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera and collagen. So it's got all the good stuff in. Um, vegan friendly, cruelty free. Let's read a little bit what it says. Scented with coconut, sandalwood and jasmine. Oh, ooh, that sounds nice. And you leave it on for four to eight hours and then wash off the guide colour. It sounds really good, guys. It sounds luxury, don't it? But we shall see. I've, what I've seen of it on their Instagram page, it looks really nice and natural. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. So I've scrubbed off my old tan with all my prep. Got the tan, got the mitt. Look how beautiful this mitt is, guys. Woo woo. <laughs> let's go, let's shake it. Favourite part. <laughs> oh, interesting. This looks a very green undertone, actually, looking at that more wouldn't you say it's a really smooth mousse smooth mousse yeah you can tell it's definitely sort of that green gray undertone which is very similar to the tanologist one i think yeah and do you know what it has a very similar scent to the tanologist one as well how nice did that glide on beautiful so yeah definitely look you can see it's sort of a a green grey which like I said I don't do a lot of green undertones on my channel so for those who like it more of an olive shade of tan this might be the one for you it's not too much though it's 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 very subtle this is smooth this mousse and this in combination with this mitt is going on so good melting into the skin even <laughs> You can't really see that much, the guide colour. It's a very light guide. Once you've like blended it in, as you can see, you can hardly see it. Obviously, on the mitt, you can see it. But as I said before, you know, if you're on the go and you don't want to, you know, <laughs> look like crazy or anything when you go out somewhere while it's developing. But yeah, really like it, guys. Very subtle scent, though. Yeah, that's really nice, guys. Really nice. So I'll show you the comparison. So as you can see, it's just like melted into the skin um but it's really really nice guys you can see where you're going and that's the main thing you can see where you're going obviously it's got to develop now but it's gone on really really well guys so i'm just going to do the rest on my body and face of camera now and get back to you in a minute so here it is all applied body and face apart from my hands i haven't done my hands yet <laughs> it's quite early on but yeah it looks really nice guys applied absolutely beautifully and what i noticed off camera while i was doing it it did have a little bit of violet in as well I think there's a little bit of violet in there i think some of you have asked me about violet tans this might have a bit of violet in it as well very unique shade this is i must admit so it'll be interesting to see how this develops so i'm going to get back to you either tonight late tonight or tomorrow morning we shall see and i'll show you the results guys so i'll see you later so here it is guys all developed it's very late in the evening i've had it on about nine and a half hours though so here it is looks very glowy look it has clung to a couple of dry patches on my face, especially my nose. <laughs> it's clung to my nose a little bit. But it looks a nice shade of tan, nice and natural. It don't look ultra dark though, as it claims to be, but it looks nice and natural. Obviously, I haven't washed it off yet. In terms of stickiness-wise, about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So 
average and in terms of DHA I couldn't smell any so that's good so I'm going to hop in the shower now and let's see what we have so here it is one layer washed off guys here it is excuse the hair I know it's a mess right now I will sort it tomorrow <laughs> so I'd say on me this looks quite a medium shade a nice natural color really like the color and it's streak free but it's not ultra dark as it's claiming to be so just be aware of that guys I will be building it up. I will put on a second layer and see how that goes. So I'll leave that on throughout the night and get back to it at some point tomorrow. So here it is, second layer washed off. Here it is. It's beautiful and sunny outside, but absolutely freezing cold. Don't be deceived by the sunshine. <laughs> so it's not gone majorly dark after second layer, but I really like this shade, actually. It looks beautiful and natural. Like at this stage, it's gone a medium to dark on me. It looks really, really nice. And a really nice shade i think if you're not into the orange red undertones again this is definitely one for you guys as you can see it just looks natural although i would say it's not ultra dark for sure if you're looking for an ultra dark either you need to layer up with this one even more or i'd recommend a different tan to be honest but it's really really nice and streak free it just just depends what you're looking for in a tan guys basically it's up to you guys and that's why there's so many out there and that's why i try so many to see what you all like and what you don't like so i'll link the website down below if you were interested in the tan thank you so much for watching guys and thank you again so so much for the thousand subscribers it means so much and i hope you continue to watch and support me and i will do a youtube short on this tan wear wednesday after a week of wearing this to see what it looks like and then after that in two weeks time i will do my next self tan review take care guys bye yeah.